Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing another under eye brightener from Milani. This is their super charged brightening under eye tint. Now these retail for $10.99 and you can find them in three different shades. You have peach, deep peach, and pink. Now these are kind of like a two in one. You get makeup and skincare with these particular tints. They have niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, plant-based collagen, as well as caffeine infused into the formula. Now these can either be worn alone or they can be worn with a concealer. You just have to set them when you're done. They can be blended out with a brush or with your finger. For today's video, we're gonna be using these in two different ways, with a concealer and without a concealer. To see how much coverage we get, I'm sure it's not gonna be a lot of coverage, but I do wanna see how it wears throughout the day all on its own while helping to like hydrate the under eye area, color correct it maybe a little bit, um, and see whether or not this would be like a nice product for like the no makeup makeup looks or just for like an everyday under eye tint. Now, since the formula does claim to be more of a hydrating formula, I'm gonna be testing it out alongside my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This has a luminous matte finish, so a matte finish that looks a bit dewy, just a little bit dewy. Um, and this website, like I mentioned, it does state that you should set these when you're done so that that way they can last all day long, which is what we're gonna be doing. As far as what I have on my face, nothing just skincare that's all that i have around the under eye area i've already prepped and done everything to my skin as far as you know cleansing moisturizing spf that kind of thing so let's go right into swatches so that you can see exactly what these look like individually so here are the swatches from left to right you have pink peach in the middle and deep peach on the right so after looking at the swatches, I think the peach shade may be just, I mean, this would have been a perfect color correcting shade for me if it wasn't just a tint. If it was a bit more pigmented, this would work wonders underneath the under eye area. But since this is a tint and not just, you know, a color corrector, I'm gonna take a little bit of peach along with a little bit of deep peach. And that is what I'm gonna be using underneath the eye area. So let's get right into this. And you see peach and deep peach together. Oh yeah, that's a good combo. Very, very minimal as far as the coverage, as you can clearly see. So I think the concealer is absolutely gonna be doing a lot of the work, a lot of the heavy lifting today. There it is, both sides are color corrected. This really does feel like a nice lightweight like eye cream. That's what it feels like to me, which is perfect for like every day. Now, before we move on to concealer and then of course to setting the under eye area, I'm going to apply foundation to the entire face and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, foundation is on and I am loving the way that this looks underneath the eyes. It looks very minimal, very, very light and it's brightening up. It's brightening up the under eye area quite, quite well. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of concealer over here. I don't feel like I'm gonna need a lot at all. Just gonna take a little bit of my concealer and I'm gonna pick it up from the back of my hand. I don't wanna apply it right onto the under eye area because I wanna keep everything where it is. And I wanna be very gentle about how I apply this concealer on to the under eye area so that I don't move the tint around. Um, before it has a chance to set. Now, will it set to something? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it based on the description. It's not gonna set to like, you know, a natural finish or semi-matte finish or matte finish, anything like that. I think it is just meant to be worn like an eye cream, but with the benefit of getting a little bit of coverage as well. So I'm just gonna take my concealer with my brush and just very lightly at the under eye area. And this is actually looking so good. It looks so good underneath the eyes. All right, so there it is. Fully concealed, relatively concealed, right? It's pretty good. Now, as far as setting it, I did purchase this Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder from Milani, but it does, it's supposed to be translucent. It's O1 translucent, but it does have this like 
yellowish tint to it. Last time I tried to use this, it completely turned the under eye area yellow. So I'm not gonna use that to set. Instead, I'm gonna stick with my Brighten Up uh, Banana Powder from Essence. This has the slightest yellow yellowness to it, yellow tone to it. So it helps to brighten, but without turning the entire under eye area yellow, you know? So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this with my powder puff, and this is what I'm gonna use to stamp the under eye area and to just get everything locked in place. I really expected for this to settle into fine lines a lot more than it is. It's settling, but not, not as much as I thought thought that it would, honestly, because it does feel very, very moisturizing. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger, kind of blend that out a little bit before setting it. All right, so there are both sides done. Different amount of coverage underneath the eyes, of course, but honestly, not by much, okay? Not by much. All right, so now that we're done applying it, let me zoom you guys in so that you can get a good look underneath the eyes after initial application. All right, so you see that? Looks very nice, light, minimal, hydrated. I like it. All right, you guys know the drill. Let me jump off camera one last time so that I can finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, makeup is done. Very clear difference, but it looks good. Even though we're not getting as much coverage over here, it, it looks good. It looks nice, it looks bright, it looks a bit more even. It just, you know, but it doesn't look like overwhelming under the eyes. It looks, it looks good. And even with a concealer, it also looks good. So I'm excited to wear this, really excited. Let's see, it is currently 11.45 in the morning, of course, Per usual, you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a few hours, see what this looks like under natural lighting, and also see how this is holding up, how it's doing, if it's doing anything. Um, so yeah, I will see you back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. I am crossing my fingers that we're still looking the same. So anyway, I'll see you in a few. All right, I am back for a quick midday check-in. It is 3.57, so I think, what is that, four hours or so? Um, this is what the tint currently looks like under the eyes. You know, although it's not providing much coverage, it doesn't look half bad. It looks a little dry, to be quite honest. It does look a little dry, but it's all staying in place. Or at least I think so, what do you guys think? It's staying in place, it hasn't gone anywhere. Um, and other than it, other than it looking a little bit dry, we're still good, I think. So we'll see, we'll keep wearing it for another four hours or so. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we're left with at the end of the day. So I will see you back here in a few more hours for my final check-in. All right, I'm back for my final check-in of the day. It is currently, what time is it? 7.26 in the evening. So I've had this on almost a solid eight hours. Now, before I get into what I think about this under eye tint, I'm going to bring you all close real close one last time so that you can get a good look underneath the eyes after a full day of wear. All right, so here is the under eye area after a full day. As a reminder, this is the side with the concealer and this is the side without the concealer. So now with that out of the way, let's go over pros and cons. Um, pros, it's very lightweight. It does feel like skincare. It feels like a nice moisturizer underneath the eyes. It has the added benefit of color correcting a little bit and brightening up the under eye area a bit. You also get niacinamide, you get, um, what was it, hyaluronic acid. You also get caffeine, you get collagen. I mean, you know, skincare, you know, which is never something that I don't want to do underneath my eyes. So I appreciate that. Um, cons, it's not very long lasting. It does look a little bit dry now that it's the end of the day. Um, and 
I wouldn't reach for this over like my actual color correctors, but if you're just gonna be using it for like running quick errands or perhaps like, you know, a few classes, or if you're just gonna be out and about for just a little bit and you don't wanna put on a full face of makeup, that's what I would say. Another con that I would see with this one or that I see with this one is that it, it, it is only in three different color correcting shades. Um, and even their deep peach, I don't think is that deep. So, you know, there is that to consider, but the formula is much, much better than their newest under eye brightening formula, which I just reviewed. That one moved around. It did not stay in place. It looked awful by the end of the day. I don't feel like this one looks awful. It looks fine. Good, not great. That's, that's what I would say with this one. Will I continue to use it going forward? Yes. Absolutely, especially on days where I'm just not really looking to put on a whole lot of makeup, but I wanna look a little bit more, you know, refreshed, more um, rested, if you will. Uh, but I would not grab this if I'm looking for like full coverage underneath the eyes or all day coverage, just not for that. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. I've been posting more reels over there, giving you guys some sneak peeks of like the reviews that are coming up. So make sure that you follow me over there. Make sure you subscribe here and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.